Well, this doctor was a, uh, he was a chiropractor. We met him through some friends. And um, he was an alcoholic, and so was his wife. And uh, then his wife died. And then he took an office over here on Lancashire. And uh, so my husband used to go visit him all the time. And because uh, he had a back problem. And he told him, he said, whatever you do, don't let anybody touch your back. A chiropractor or osteopath or whoever it is, don't let them touch your back because you're having uh, muscle spasms. He knew all about, uh, you know, people with back problems and all that. And um, uh, in fact, he was a, a doctor for uh, the county and when they had a, ch a child was born and the bones were not just so, he would place them in their, in their where they should be. So he knew he was a good chiropractor. He had a wonderful practice. And so anyway, um, my husband used to visit him all the time. When he was uh, retired, he used to go over here at the office and visit him. And um, this one time he went over to visit him and he said, I'm not going to be here tomorrow, Cappy, don't, so don't come over. He said, what do you mean? Where are you going? He said, um, well, I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to rob a bank. He says, wait a minute. He says, that, that alcohol is getting to your brain. He says, don't talk like that. What's the matter with you? Don't, don't say some things like that. He says, no, Cappy, I, I, I'm serious. I'm gonna, I, I don't want to die alone in this, in this uh, office. He says, I want I wanna them to pick me up and take me to jail, and I'll die in the hospital over there in the jail. He had it all planned out. Well, two days later, I get the paper and all the headlines in the, in the middle of the paper. Uh, Doc Scott holds up bank, but they arrest him. I had to read the whole thing twice. I said, I don't believe this. So I called Frank at the studio. He was working at MGM then. And I said, listen. I said, you know, Doc Scott, he did it. What do you mean? I said, he robbed a bank in North Hollywood. I said, and he's in jail. Oh my God, and that was the time Lucia was getting married. Mm. And I said, oh my God, I can't believe this. I said, he said, I'm gonna go see him. So he went to the jail and he went, to, he, he asked where the hospital section was and they told him and they said, I wanna see Doc Scott. And they said, well, who are you? They wanted to, you know, find out who he was and all that. He said, well, I'm a good friend of his. And I says, he said, I, uh, in fact, I was going to be one of his patients, but I didn't, uh, didn't materialize. So he said, um, well, I guess you can see him. And he said, but there's somebody in there seeing him now. And you have to wait till he comes out, and then you can go ahead and see him. So when he went in there to see him, he said, well, I, you stupid bastard. He says, you followed through on this whole thing, didn't you? He said, I sure did. He <clears> says, this is where I'm going to die, right here with the, somebody taking care of me. <laughs> Isn't that <laughs> okay? amazing? That's a good story. She and how was, long was he in jail? He died. Because he had he cancer. Died. He found out he had cancer, he right? Yeah. Is that what happened? Yeah. He died. That so how long good. was he there? Oh, just a long, a short day, a couple of days, and he died. Only for a few days. Oh, wow. Yeah.